just how cold is a black hole? And then maybe how does Hawking radiation occur in a nutshell, and how long does it take? Okay, so so I, I'm not so I'm not sure I could give you the the exact numbers without uh, you know going through the either looking it up or calculating it again. But uh, to give you some sense, um, so the radiation that we feel as warmth, like when you turn a radiator on and you know you you stand next to it. So first of all, radiation is like light. It's like the light we see, but it has a bit longer wavelength. Um, so maybe, you know, 10 times longer uh, than the light we see. That's called infrared. And uh, the kind of temperatures that we feel when we stand next to a radiator, they correspond to these kinds of wavelengths. Now, how big is the wavelength of light? And a few hundred nanometers. So that's like, uh, you know, a 10 millionth of an inch or whatever bizarre units people use in this country. Uh, and, and, and this, this uh, um, light that we can feel as warmth, the infrared radiation, you know, has and maybe 10 times longer. So it's still you know, a millionth of an inch or something. It's, it's, it's a very small uh, uh, amount of length that corresponds to the sort of one, one wavelength of, of this electromagnetic radiation that we feel as warmth. The longer the wavelength, the colder it is. Okay, so if you make it 100 times longer than that, you certainly won't feel it as warmth at all. It will be imperceptible. It'll be very cold. Um, the wavelength of the radiation that's emitted by a black hole is comparable to the size of the black hole. Okay. So if you have, for example, a black hole that was formed by a star collapsing, the black holes of that type are maybe a kilometer, a couple of kilometers or miles across. Okay. So the wavelength of radiation emitted by such a black hole will be a mile. Okay. Compare that to the millionth of an inch. So that's how cold it is. 